From a New Year's Eve mystery to bizarre shopping lists and grisly discoveries in town transfer stations, this case has captivated the nation and the world. Five Investigates broke the news of today's search. Our Karen Anderson has been on top of every development of the story. She joins us right now, Karen. And that even though today's search came up empty, investigators tell me they have to follow every lead. And if there's one thing we've learned about this story, you never know where it will go next. Brian Walsh smiling at cameras as he is led into court, first charged with misleading police in the search for his wife, Anna. Not guilty. Then came the charge of murder. Photos of Brian Walsh in the days after his wife vanished show him shopping at the Home Depot in Rockland, where police say his cart was filled with cleaning products, tarps, buckets, and goggles. And outside a liquor store in Swampscott carrying what appears to be a heavy bag. Police say he made trips to six dumpsters in five days. Brian, who grew up in Massachusetts and attended boarding schools and top universities, and Anna, who immigrated from Serbia, married in 2015. Court records show at that time, Brian was already conducting an international scheme to sell forged Andy Warhol prints. His victims include a college friend, his own dentist, and a Beverly Hills art dealer, the owner of the largest Warhol art gallery in the world. It was a very calculated, um, almost genius about how he went about things. Then there's the case involving his late father's estate. Brian Walsh now representing himself in probate court. Records show he was cut out from his father's inheritance after his father accused Brian of stealing nearly $1 million from him. Now that case is still moving forward in probate court. As for the criminal case, Walsh is due back before a judge in November. We'll stay on top of both cases and we'll keep you posted.